Uh, we have the whole, guys framed out the whole front porch, uh, which is now actually really incorporated into the house. Uh, we had a little bit of a design change from the plans because as we were, we were putting this together, we realized that the plans from, that were done by the architect uh, did not allow for a full height door for the bathroom, uh, which is something we really needed. Otherwise, you'd have no room, no door for the bathroom. Can't use the bathroom out of door, right? So uh, we uh, we had that, did an on-site change to modify the A-frame on the roof. As you can see, we uh, actually, by doing that, we're actually able to get a full height room out of it with a full height window uh, and everything else on, on down it. It'll actually uh, make the house appear like it has more more, more usable room, as actually it will. Uh, it's been around, a lot of the windows have been framed in. They're ready, uh, ready for the new construction windows. Um, roof has been ripped off. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. We'll back up here a little bit. Uh, that's being replaced with a, with a dimensional or an architectural design uh, dimensional roof and uh, slate color. The house itself all white siding on it when it's all done. And uh, again, new foundation, everything else was put in. You saw on the list. Update. And uh, it's coming along pretty good. You see on the outside here, this is actually this room actually is where the kitchen's going. Uh, they've already got the window enclosed, framing sewn on, on the inside of that. That'll all actually be patched over with siding to match. Again, the uh, new construction windows will be going in, the new frames, and uh, the porch is ready. The porch is ready to go. Okay, not much changed in the backyard. Um, just the roof has been ripped off the back section. Uh, this is where the frame in a couple, or uh, sheath in a couple of the windows. Again, I'll have white vinyl siding on the back when it's all done to match the, uh, the side addition where the kitchen's going. Um, you see on the top there, I don't know if you, how well you can see or not here with the video, but uh, again, the roof has been all ripped. It's all in the dumpster now. This shed still has to go. Hopefully that'll be taken out this week and it'll give us more space in the yard here. And uh, the electric where the pool used to be is also going to disappear. Go take a look inside. and some makeshift steps here. But uh, basically when you come in, this used to be the front wall. Uh, you can see with, from the other videos, they put in a, uh, a header to carry the weight across. Uh, again, the, the new pitch on the roof and everything. Um, look to the left here. Uh, this room is actually going to become the half bath. They're adding in as something these homes never had when they were built. Must have thought of back then. Uh, we did put the optional window as per our plans in. And uh, the front will have a uh, double window to finish everything off looking at right now is what's going to become the dining room or dining area whichever one you want to call it uh, that's going to be connected into the living room so if you didn't use it as a dining area because the kitchen should have enough room for a table and chair set up uh, it is incorporated in and as you can see by doing what we did with the porch we were able to raise the floor which makes everything level and it makes this room a lot more usable as we uh, look down the hall here uh, this is a bedroom that we didn't have before because we're about we're standing where the chimney used to be and uh, pan around and see the closets aren't taking any room out of the space so you get a true full-size bedroom. Uh, this room is about a 10 by 11 and uh, what you're looking at now is actually where the uh, bathroom is going to be so we'll walk down the hall again. Again this is where the bathroom is going to be the uh, sink and vanity the sink vanity here in the toilet uh, we're actually allowing for a window in the space here, which is nice. And uh, the window is not above where the tub is going to be. So you do have side privacy, but still have the ability to have some ventilation in the area. Take a look out here, back into the hallway again. Uh, the plan allowed us to put a linen closet in this area. Uh, so you have a nice little linen closet. That actually will be the only doorway you'll see coming in from the uh, front door. So none of the bedrooms will be exposed to the main area. Uh, this area is for the washer and dryer. Uh, we designed it for a uh, high efficiency stack type unit. And we're in the back bedroom. This is about a 10 by 10 or so. But again, the closets are not taken out of the bedroom space, which is uh, really nice. A lot of these houses do not have any storage. And, uh, yeah, very, very limited. The attic is actually where we're going to be running all of our ductwork for the HVAC system. Uh, we're actually putting the heater up there. You can heat her in a air handler unit you know, on that platform. Uh, that might be changed around a little bit, depends upon where it actually winds up being, but uh, the plan is to put access in the hallway 
in the, in the ceiling, put a, put a pole down to gain access to that area. Uh, right now we're in the master bedroom. This room originally was about a 10 by 10 or so, uh, 10 by 9 in that range. Uh, this room now is a 11 by 14. Um, it really, uh, this is actually, you see the footprint of the old closet here. Uh, by doing what we did, we gained a lot of space in here. Um, made it a lot more usable room. You could actually put a bed in here now with no problem. Um, the plan also allowed for a walk-in closet. Uh, we kind of gave it a little, uh, little bit of a um, character to it by putting it on, on the angle. And that actually allowed us to bring the closet out a little farther, adding a little more space to it. So, I hope everything will come out okay. When Next time you see it, it'll probably have all the electric in. Uh, hopefully the plumbing will be done. And there's a little bit of framing that still needs to be taken care of. And I'm sure the guys will have that wrapped up too at the same time. Thanks for taking the time to look at the video. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just keep this in mind. If you know anybody else who has a home they need to sell, uh, we do buy them. We do lease options, lease purchases, as well as uh, rent homes in the area.